Hello there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new episode ng Grade 4 Science Learning Activities. Kayo ay patuloy sa inyong pag-aaral sa inyong mga tahanan. Kaya naman ako ay narito upang kayo ay gabayan sa inyong pagkatuto. My name is Teacher Lariza at narito na ang ating new episode para sa Grade 4 Science. In our last science episode, you were able to describe what happens to liquid materials when they are mixed with other liquid materials. In that episode, you also learned about mixtures. Mixtures are combination of two or more materials. We have two kinds of mixtures. These are homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. When we say homogeneous mixture, it is a mixture which looks the same throughout. While when we say heterogeneous mixture, it is a mixture wherein we can still identify or distinguish the materials that we have mixed together. For a quick review, can you identify which of these two liquid mixtures is homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture? Comment down your answers below this video. After watching the first two episodes of our science lesson provided on the link below this video, we can now move forward to the last part of this lesson which is entitled Changes in Materials when Mixed with Other Materials, Solid to Liquid Mixture. Science Learning Episode Changes in Materials when Mixed with Other Materials, Solid to Liquid Mixture Before heading to our today's experiment, let us first unlock the terminologies that you need in understanding this lesson. Number one is solution. Solution is a homogeneous mixture wherein two or more materials are combined together where the solid substance is completely dissolved to the liquid substance. Or in Tagalog, ang solution ay kombinasyon ng dalawang material kung saan ang isang bagay ay tuluyang natutunaw sa likido. Number 2 is colloid. Colloid is a homogeneous mixture wherein substances stay within the substance and do not separate in layers. Or in Tagalog, ang colloid ay homogeneous mixture kung saan ang isang substance ay balanseng nakakalat sa buong mixture at sila ay hindi napaghihiwalay. Lastly, we have suspension. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture wherein two materials separate over time. Or in Tagalog, ang suspension ay isang uri ng heterogeneous mixture kung saan ang isang substance ay humihiwalay sa liquid substance kung saan ito hinihalo. Here are the guide questions that we need to answer at the end of our experiment. Number one, what solid materials can be completely dissolved in liquid materials? Number two, what solid materials cannot be completely dissolved in liquid materials? Number three, what are the changes that you observe when solid and liquid materials are mixed? And number four, what happens to solid materials when they are mixed with liquid materials? Now, let us proceed to our experiment time. Here are the materials that we are going to use in this experiment. We have water, sand, salt, milk, and spoon and glasses. Here is what we are going to do. Let us put 2 tablespoons of each solid material to a 3 fourth filled glass of water. Stir it and observe what happens to the solid material. Here are the resulting mixtures after stirring each material for 1 minute. Now, let us answer the guide questions. Number 1. What solid materials can be completely dissolved in liquid materials? The answers are salt and milk. Number 2. What solid materials cannot be completely dissolved in liquid materials? 
The answer is send. Number three. What are the changes that you observe when solid and liquid materials are mixed? The correct answer is, some solid materials change its properties and state. It turned from solid to liquid as it completely dissolves in water. Lastly, number four, what happens to solid materials when mixed with liquid materials? The correct answer is, some solid materials completely dissolve in liquid materials, but there are some which do not. Here are the key points of our lesson for today. In our experiment, we have learned that solid materials can be mixed with liquid materials, thus forming mixture. Mixture is a combination of two or more materials, or in Tagalog, ito yung kombinasyon ng dalawa o higit pang bagay. Number 2. Some solid materials can be completely dissolved in liquid materials, forming homogeneous mixture. In our experiment, salt and water mixture is an example of a homogeneous mixture. Napansin natin na tuluyang natunaw at humalo ang asin sa tubig. Ang uri ng mixture na ito ay tinatawag nating solution. Ang solution ay mga mixture kung saan tuluyang natutunaw at humahalo ang solid material na tinatawag nating solute sa liquid material na tinatawag naman nating solvent. Sa ating experiment, ang salt ay ang tinuturing nating solute, samantalang ang tubig naman ang tinatawag nating solvent. Another type of homogeneous mixture ay ang tinatawag nating colloid. Again, ang colloid ay isang uri ng mixture kung saan ang solid material na inihalo natin sa liquid material ay makikita natin na nakakalat o kalat sa kabuuan ng mixture. In our experiment, milk and water mixture is an example of a colloid. This is because the particles of milk stay within the water. We can identify a colloid by putting a light on top of the mixture. Kapat nakita natin na ang light ay nag-spread evenly throughout the mixture, it exhibits Tyndall effect. Dito natin malalaman at makikita na ang solid materials ay evenly distributed sa kabuuan ng liquid substance. Number 3. Some solid materials cannot be completely dissolved in liquid materials forming heterogeneous mixture. In our experiment, the sand and water mixture is an example of heterogeneous mixture because we can still identify the sand particles apart from water. Ang uri ng mixture na ito ng liquid to solid ay tinatawag nating suspension. Suspension is a type of mixture wherein the solid particles o tinatawag nating solute ay hindi natunaw sa liquid substance o tinatawag nating solvent. Ano ang nangyayari sa solute? It either settles at the bottom or float in the water. In our experiment, sand settled at the bottom of the water, thus making a suspension. Lastly, some solid materials when mixed with liquid materials change their size, shape, and color, but some do not. That's it, Science Kids! I hope you learned something new in our science episode for today. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe in our channel for you to stay notified in our upcoming videos. Kita kids again next week! Bye-bye!